kind of a little bit cleaned up out here. <clears throat> Still got some potatoes working. Glad they get that. I might have to cover them up if we get a frost divider. We've already had one. There's the other potatoes. The rest are just. See how rough that one potato looks? I pulled out all the squash plants. Oh, there's some beets. There's just a few things left in this part of it, of the raised beds. There's... We're all gonna die back now, too. We're about done out here. All the rabbits are way back there. The dogs follow me around today while I do this. She's over there. One of them. Can't let the German Shepherd run around. She's just too pushy. My yard art again. That I've been painting. I had some more to paint. I'll do all my stuff in there in the spring. I want to get some kind of cover. If anybody has any ideas, because it's way too hot in there. I'll burn stuff right up if you don't pay attention. My husband came out here and tried to blow some of the to blow some of the leaves and stuff off after we weed whacked. Okay, let's see how we're doing back here. Okay, the beets are still going strong. I heard they'll be fine. Rhubarb. Some more beets and beans. Over here. Cucumbers. Can you look rough? Rhubarb. Carrots. Parsnips. Pulled it out. On my eggplant. Picked a whole bunch of it, so that's doing <clears throat> pretty good. Yep, I gave my chickens away, so I'm gonna clean that out and turn it into a rabbit hutch for baby rabbits. Over there, I cleaned that one out. I was wondering what the neighbors are doing. They're pulling down their old shed, it looks like. See, I'm in town. But I'm on like two and a half city lots. So... Nobody realizes that this is all mine until they come over. Because I've been here the longest of all my neighbors, except Scott. He's on that side. He's younger than I am, but on the other side with his mom and dad's house, and that's where he was raised. So there's my garden. Right now I'm going to go feed the rabbits, and then I'll finish this. Okay. Okay, rabbits are fed. That doesn't take very long. See, someone comes in at night and think lays in here. Maybe some cats. I don't know. It's just nice and peaceful today. Cool off. Weather here in Michigan is like cooling right down. Goes right back like that. And goes this way. See? So it's like we got this setting area. That's my fence I redid. So we put a hole in, I don't know if it's a dog or what, but that's another setting area. And then there's one over there that we do our painting in. Oh, right here for my, my granddaughter's tea parties. And then just here by the little fire we haven't did yet. <clears throat> and then here is a pond. Frog just jumped in. Yeah, we have frogs here. My daughter, Crystal's boyfriend, Tony, he does ponds. Oh, he does ponds. He'll make them. He's good. There's the other little shed over there. I don't know if that rabbit's out. It's so, he's like a little Ewok. I think he's hiding. Here's his little house. He usually hides behind it. He usually goes back there to get out of the sun. At a certain time of the day, and then I think there he is. I don't know if you can see him. See him down there? It's like a little Ewok. Yeah. Anyway, that's him. Okay. And then there's sitting areas, and there's a hammock. A little sitting area there. There's another little fire thing. It's got those little weeds. I gotta go through and trim all this out. I let it recede. 
the next year. The birds eat it, which is cool. There's the pond. Tony did that one too. Back area. Let's go. This little tiny sitting area here. I don't remember. I didn't count how many that was. At least five. Yeah. That's my walk out here today. There's all my yard tail jugs for water. I use go get my rainwater and I fill them. That's how it looks that way. Like that. And it goes all the way back where we were. And over here is where we put up the whole pallet fence. Me and my husband, he said, oh, it's going to take days. And it took like three hours. <laughs> but okay, that's a different area. But that was where we sat. This is what I did yesterday. These are plums. And that's all jam. Plum jam. And this is what I harvested out of the garden yesterday. Got eggplant, butternut squash, some zucchini. Yep. And then I'm going to be canning pears and plums. Everybody have a good day. Well, this is what the front looks like. I had that chair made for my husband on his um, birthday, I believe last year's birthday is coming up. And then for Father's Day last year, I had the bench made with our name on it. These are tomatoes, more tomatoes, and more tomatoes that she had to pick because they're not ripening. My girlfriend gave me, and then I bought a bunch of peppers because I have some peppers but not enough. And they're like three for a dollar at Nelson's Farm Market in Grant. Michigan. That's a really good deal. But anyways, that's his chair. It's one of those big ones. Hang on. See, these are all the peppers I got today, and they were three. You could get three of them for a dollar, and they're huge. So I got nine of them for three bucks. And then I got a big old muskmelon for a dollar, nope, dollar ninety-nine, dollar fifty for the cabbage, and then some broccoli. Huge watermelon I got today for the $2.99 or you get them two for five. So anyways, I'm going to be canning tomatoes. And I have a whole bushel of pears. Okay, half a bushel of pears right there. And then I got a bag of onions to go with the green peppers. And the, for 10 pounds I paid $6.95. They're sweet onions to go with the green peppers and tomatoes. And that's the watermelon. Look, that takes up one whole seat. Sink spot. And add them two for five. Or two ninety nine. What she would? I'd waste it. And my kids are probably all busy this weekend, so I'll give it to them. But two ninety nine. Awesome. That was at uh, it's um, Nelson's Farm Market in Grant, Michigan. Okay.